Good morning, John. Welcome to your first five minute stretching session. I invite you to find a spot on your bed or on the ground to work with me. So you'll take the time to low down on your back, keep your knees bent, take a moment to connect the feet onto the ground, connect your back onto the earth. When you're ready, draw the right knee in towards your chest, grab on behind your thigh. So tuck that knee right in as close as you can towards your belly. Taking a few nice big breaths in and out through your nose. When you're ready, start to extend that right leg straight up. The hands are still behind the leg. Point and flex your foot. Next time you're pointed, stay there. Use your upper body strength to pull that leg in towards your torso, feeling a nice stretch in the hamstring. Breathing through, staying here. Start to bend that knee again, drawing it back towards your chest. If you can, slide the hands on top and see if you can lift the head for a moment, drawing the nose towards the knee. And then relax back down, step that right foot down. Draw the left knee in towards your chest, hug it tight into your center line to start. Big full breaths. In and out through your nose as much as you can. Take your time. When you're ready, extend the left leg straight up to the sky. Again, the hands behind the leg. Point and flex that foot and notice sensations behind your leg. Keep the foot pointed. Breathe through the nice stretch behind your leg. Use your strength to pull it in a little bit more. And then bend that knee. If you can, switch the hands to the top. This is optional. If you have the strength, lift up, nose to knee, chin away from the chest. Lower the head back down if it's lifted. And this time, draw both knees in towards your chest. And just a nice little roll out. Ironing out that low back. Relax the left foot down, place the right ankle over the left thigh and open that right knee to right side. Use your right hand and just press the flesh out. Keep the right toes coming towards the right shin. Maybe there's a lot of sensations here. Great place to stay. Just work through the stretch. If you have any space, you can certainly draw the left foot up. That will increase sensations. The main focus is keeping that right knee open. If that constrict the movement, lower it back down and just work on this first piece first. Taking the time to take some deep breaths. In and out through your nose. Settling into the stretch. And slide thigh over thigh. Take the arms a little bit wider to your sides. Take a deep breath in, and then you'll go into a twist. So the, the knees are falling onto the left side. Use your top toes to stop the movement if it feels like it's too deep for your back. Again, not a lot of work required here. It's simply to surrender to this supine twist. And you relax into it for a few breaths. Finding a little bit of softness every time you exhale. Come back slowly to your center, uncross the legs, rest both feet onto the ground. 
When you're ready, lift the left foot off the ground and place that left ankle over right thigh. Right here, take that left hand on the left thigh and press the flesh away from you. Draw the toes up towards the shin. If there's a lot of sensation, this is a great place to stay focused on the opening here. Only if you have the space and you can keep the knee fairly open, you can move to the next step and lift the right foot up from the ground. Sending to the, the oxygen to the muscles that are really working. At any time, coming back to the initial position. Allowing that left hip to open up. From here, slide thigh over thigh. Take the arms wider, take a deep breath in. Use your exhale to flop the knees to the right any amount. You can always use that top foot to stop the movement if it feels like it's too deep. And then just surrender to the posture. No work, no trying to get any deeper into it. Just allowing yourself to be in it. Focusing on your own breath. Nice long inhales and exhales. Two more full breaths. And draw it back to your center, uncross your legs. You did very good, John. You only need five minutes. This is enough for today. I want you to show up every day. I'll keep adding some videos for you. Have a great day.